Hey George, how's it going? Not bad, how are you Steve? I'm pretty good. Have you ever heard of the partner's story in Canterbury Tales? No, I have not. Would you like to tell me about it? It would be my pleasure. The partner's story was about a group of four friends who liked to go out and drink all the time. Now on one special night, they went out and woke up, and when they woke up in the morning, one of their friends was dead. Now, they heard that death killed their friend. Who is this death? No one really knows who death was. All they know is that death killed their friend and they wanted to go avenge their friend's death by killing death. So, they set out on a journey. And when they went out, they came across an old man. Who is the old man? What does he have to do with the story? Well, the old man was looking for death too. But all the old man wanted to do was actually die. He wanted to move on. So, the three friends asked the old man where death was. The old man told the three friends that he saw death earlier underneath a tree. So, the three friends went to that tree. And when they got there, they found gold. Now, the gold was under the tree, and the three friends instantly thought that they could all be rich. So they all started to celebrate and went on their own ways. Later, two of the friends ended up meeting up at a bar and got into cahoots with each other. They made a plan to kill the other friend. And the way they were going to do it was by leaping out and killing him. So on another day, they found the friend walking by himself. And when he was walking by himself, they jumped out and killed him. Little did they know... The friend who died was planning to do the same to both of them. So, the friend who they killed, they put poison in their wine, thinking that they would, one of them would drink it the next day, which would kill them. So, after the friends killed their one friend, they went over to celebrate by drinking the wine in which the dead friend put the poison in. After they drank the wine, they began to feel very weary and tired. And as they started to drink it, they dropped dead. So, the moral of the story is that greed can overcome friendship, and that you can't escape death. That's exactly right, George. I hope you now understand the main points of the partner's story in Canterbury Tales by Chaucer. I do. Thank you for telling that to me. All right. I'll see you around, buddy. See you, Steve.